The Diablo Canyon nuclear power plant is scheduled to shut down by 2025. Let's bring you up to speed. The decision came in 2016 and last March a bipartisan commission was created to deal with the fallout of land this closure will create. The site is 600 acres of coastal land and there are many opinions about how it should be used. San Luis Obispo County will lead the environmental analysis of the decommissioning. The massive 2,200 megawatt Diablo Canyon power plant is expected to shut down within the next five years. But what are the repercussions for Californians? KSBY News reporter Colette Nyo has an update from the Diablo Canyon decommissioning engagement panel. Diablo Canyon, California's largest and last nuclear power plant, will discontinue its power operations beginning in 2024. The Diablo Canyon decommissioning engagement panel held a meeting on Wednesday to discuss how the spent nuclear fuel will be managed and where PG&E is in the decommissioning process. When the plant shuts down, PG&E is going to move all of the spent fuel out to this pad that's there. The first issue is the safety of spent fuel which is fuel that is hot and radioactive and no longer useful after five years. Diablo Canyon currently stores spent fuel in a pool on the plant site to cool the fuel and protect workers. But PG&E has requested a new $350 million dry cast storage system to store the fuel after decommissioning. We will be looking for doing the real-time monitoring, and that's how it would capture the, the capability of monitoring both old or current system if and when we implement a new system. For now, they don't know how long the dry cast storage system will be stored on site, but their hope is that the radiological remediation project will accelerate the cooling time of spent nuclear fuel. All of the NRC approved dry storage facilities offer superior protection and long-term storage capability than any of the cooling pool systems. At this point, PG&E has to go through multiple steps to move forward. The process takes years, so PG&E will submit all application requirements by June to plan for shutting down the power plants Unit 1 in 2024 and Unit 2 in 2025. It is our expectation that PG&E will continue to incorporate feedback from the local community and stakeholders into their decommissioning plan. PG&E spokesperson Karina Corral says the company is still in the early stages of planning and no official decision has been made about the decommissioning process. The next meeting will be on August 25th, focused on the potential of repurposing the Diablo facilities and land after decommissioning. In San Luis Obispo, Coletno, KSBY News.